congratulations on the film. Thank you. I watched it last night. I was on the edge of my seat for two hours and 20 minutes. I have to start by asking, what were your first impressions of each other? Oh, of each other. Of each other. Oh, wow. I was nervous. I mean, I think, I feel comfortable saying that. Were you, you really I, nervous? I was nervous, yeah. What made you nervous? He's so tall. You're pretty tall too. Yeah, but he's much taller. It was the size. And what was your first impression of Julia? I, I was nervous, but I was like, she's exactly who you would think she is on a certain level, right? You know, and the more you get to- Who did you, you know? think she was? No, she I, was. if she, if, if I met her and she felt like standoffish or cold or just, you know, which she would have every right to be, that would have thrown me off. And so she was very warm. I mean, we had met in passing. Her. Yes, yes, but yes. To be, but to actually get to spend yeah, time, time together and, and working work together, together and yeah. like getting into it, I was, you know, I, I wasn't surprised, but I was still nervous. You know? I, one of the reasons I was excited to see this film is because I knew that the two of you would be striking paired next to each other on screen. There is an evolution of the relationship that your mm. characters kind of go through together. Yeah. Things end up getting a little steamy at yeah. one point. What was it like building that type of chemistry on camera? It was it was great. I mean, as far as just having that creative playground to be in and knowing that you're with someone who is going to be so heroic in their efforts of their side of things, it was really... For me, every day was such a joy, even when the scenes that we were doing would be complicated. Um, there might be tears, there might be fears. Uh, I just still felt like I kind of bounced into work every day. Yeah. Ooh, bounced into work, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you? It was just great getting in there and you're just trying to, you're trying to bring it to life together and in that, that process of coming together, collaborating, Sam leading the way, and always trying to get to who these people are, always trying to bring them to the scene and to the screen, is is wonderful having great collaborator, uh, collaborators and doing that. And so I had a wonderful time. It's, it's why you sign up to do it. Now I love the dance scene. Did you know she had those moves? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> How was it for you shooting that dance scene, Julia? It was great. I mean, it was a really complicated scene. And what I appreciate about Sam is that he can almost see, before I've seen, like, down the line, this is going to be really complex. And so he will take us into that mm -hmm. space. As soon as they had that set built, mm -hmm. he took us in there and sat us down and was like, where do you want to be? Where is the dancing? Where is the record player? I mean, he really... He... I was surprised, too, because you don't always work things out like that. I was yeah. like, oh, wow, we're really In working here. this moment. So yeah, I well, I think he anticipated... Yeah. He anticipated once we got to this point in the movie, all that we would have already excavated in these yes. characters, and that suddenly, oh, it's oh, it's not just a dance right. scene. Right. Um, it was a lot more than that, so it was good to have had that time and to get, and also then to get over like the, the people jitters of, ha oh, here I am yeah. dancing in right. front of all my friends, <laughs> you know. Julia, you're a producer on the film. Your on-camera daughter has, like many of us, an obsession with the show Friends. Mm -hmm. In many ways, it almost felt like a love letter to the show. What was it like for you to be a guest star on the series? Well, I was on the Super Bowl episode, and I, as keeps coming up today for some reason, am a big football um, head. So right. for me, it was so exciting to be on the Super Bowl episode. And I love that Sam created this storyline for Rose in the screenplay in this because we all have a a TV show that's like our security blanket that mm -hmm. is the thing that we just love to snuggle up to at 11 o'clock at night or we know will always make us laugh for me Arrested Development always makes me laugh or America's Funniest Home Videos is another favorite Best. um so I love that he brought something like that into the story something we can all relate to that's just calm throughout mm. yeah yeah, it was beautiful. It was beautiful to see. Now, speaking of kids, you recently shared a celebration photo of your twins. Oh. Oh, What babies. would you go back and say to this young mom? I love this picture, wow. by the way. Gosh, it flies by. Wow. It's their 19th birthday, wow. like a week ago. Wow. Um, 
I don't think I'd say anything. I mean, you figure it all out. It's all always going to be okay. They were really good babies, and I think somehow they knew that, um, you know, they outnumbered me from the jump, <laughs> and so they were gentle. Oh, that's so sweet. Okay, my last question for you, uh, both of you. It's an apocalypse. It's coming and it's happening. Mm. Aside from your family or pets, what are you taking with you? Mm. I mean, water's a boring answer. Mm. Granola bars makes me sound mm. like a Girl Scout. Granola bar? I mean... Of all the things. I mean, cases and cases and... Ca ca <laughs> I was going like get weapon or like fire oh, or... Oh, no, I would have been like cheeseburgers, right, right. good shoes. Right. A, good, a shoes. good jacket. Good shoes. Like most important thing. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm there with you. Right. I'm with that. Uh, something I could play a little music on. Walkie talkie. I, yeah. That's a good answer. Yeah, well, walkie talkie. I'll good. sing to you on one end. There you go. There you go. <laughs> I like this. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. Thank you.